my interest is really in advancing diving technology. And the reason we do that is, as a diver, uh, it's all about stress. Stress placed on the human and how that affects his ability to perform. Uh, so new equipment lets us uh, be more comfortable in the water, lets us be more efficient underwater, and ultimately that lets us uh, you know, interact with the underwater world in a much more productive way. And from a scientific perspective, that lets us uh, you know, look at the underwater world in an entirely new lens and uh, consider things that we never thought were possible simply because we have an improved human experience underwater. You're not worried about your air supply at all, you're essentially free to work underwater for hours and hours at a time. But uh, visibility can be quite low, and that means keeping an eye on your dive partner can be difficult. So uh, by adding in the underwater communications, the dive team can communicate very effectively. Uh, they can work together even when they can't see each other. Uh, that adds an element of safety uh, topside where the dive supervisor can manage and keep track of divers in the water. So I think it'll prove to be a very effective system here on the fish rack. Test one, two, test one, two. Test one, two, test one, two. I got you loud and clear. Got you, Michael. Purely as a demonstration project, uh, we deployed a second generation portable inflatable habitat underneath the fish raft. Um, and this is a system I developed several years ago. At that time, the intention was to uh, use it for decompression. So after a deep dive, you would, uh, the dive would enter into this habitat, and spend a certain amount of time decompressing, basically removed from the, the wet environment. So it provides a dry, safe space. Uh, we've started to consider other applications of this technology, and I think this week demonstrated uh, it's a perfect example of that. So we had several students enter into the habitat, simply experience uh, a human-created space underwater, which didn't previously exist, and just look out, you know, look out the windows and consider the underwater environment in a slightly different way.